Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to discuss about React Navigation version 6. So most of the React Native application nowadays using React Navigation. So we will be discussing about all about React Navigation in this uh, lectures. So most of the application contain three type of navigation. One is tab navigation. Second thing is drawer navigation and stack navigation. Tab navigation, we already know about tab, uh, tab bar in the bottom tab bar. You most of the application you can see tab navigation. Drawer navigation, which is coming from the left, you can see drawer opening. Some of the application is using, uh, using drawer navigation. In stack navigation, what will happen? Most of the application is pushing one screen on top of a stack. So if you go back, the stack will be removed. So stack navigation basically a common navigation which is used most of in the most of application. So if you look into a picturized representation of stack navigation, it will be like this one screen on the top of another. So here we are going to use stack navigation in this complete lecture. We will be discussing about stack navigation only. So in stack navigation, what will happen if you push, if you move into another screen, it will be pushed on the top of a stack. So if you go back, it will be removed from the stack. So just like this, you can go to the screen one and go to the screen two. If you want to go back, it will be removed from the stack. So we will be using React Navigation Native Slack for this uh, for this stack navigation creation. So we are going to the step for installation and we will be completely discussing about stack navigation in this lecture. Now if you want to see an example of a stack navigation, I am opening Jazz Academy application. You can see my intro screens. See? Now if I go to the uh, login screen, it is pushing on top of the uh, initial screen, right? Then if I am going to sign up screen, it is going, it is pushing on the top of login screen. It's just like a stack, it is pushing on the top of another stack. Now if I press back button, what will happen? It will be removed from the stack. Just like if I go to forgot password, everything will be in a stack, right? Clear, you can see it is pushing on the top of a stack. This is basically called stack navigation. So we will be in creating a sample application to demonstrate stack navigation. Now I have already created one sample application. If you are not able to create a sample application, you can just run the command npx react native init navigation. So it will create a React Native application. If you do not have a setup, you can refer our setup videos in React Native. It will be set up your React Native in your computer. So after setting up, just type the command npx react native init navigation. So it will create a React Native application. So you can see in my device, the React Native application is running. Now I am going to open the application in my VS code. Open the VS code. Yes. Click on open button. So you can see on the desktop. I can see my project navigation. Open that project. Sorry. Yes. It's open. Now if you go to the app.js file. You can see by default rendering code which is generated by React Native. I am going to remove all this code. Okay, so I trust the order. Remove all this by default code generated by React Native. I am just putting one view here. View style flex equal to one. Background color. I'm just giving a background color red. You can just close this tag. Yes. Now if I refresh the screen. Yes, all the screens are all the by default code is removed. I can see a red color. Now if I want to add a text, you can just add a text. Sample. I'm just adding a text sample. All the uh, text should be in JSX itself, so we can just add a style for this one. Color white, and we can remove all the code which is generated by React Native. We can remove this style. 
all this code here also one section you can see after removing this you can see all the default import is uh, you can just remove all the import also and make this app as a symbol functional component you can just remove this node section yes we have removed all the code and also we can remove this uh, import which is not using also remove this node and refresh the screen once more yes you can see sample text is having here in the screen right so we have complete setup we have completed all the react native setup now we can just go to the installation of react navigation setup Now we are going to install the libraries for that one what you have to do open a google uh, tab just type react navigation so it will redirect into react navigation website uh, go to the documentation section here you can see get uh, getting started section so we are going to install all the library what we need to integrate react navigation so they are showing First, we need to install react navigation slash native. So just copy this one, paste into our project. So it will install react navigation slash native library. Then uh, the next thing is what we need. We need react native screens, which will be helping for uh, stack navigation and safe area context, which will be useful, useful for in uh, iOS application to remove, to avoid safe area views. So we can just install this one also, copy this one. Yes, so we have installed react navigation slash native. Just install react npm install react native screens and safe area context. So we have installed that library too. Now the next thing what we need is a stack navigation. We need to, uh, sorry, before stack navigation, we need to change this one in main activity dot Java. So we can just copy this one open our project go to android app src main java main activity dot java so you can see android app src main java activity main activity dot java so copy this one into main activity dot java we can just add this override method here yes And then we need to import the bundle we can just copy this one also to the import section yes we have completed our setup for react navigation now also we can just install the react native slash uh, stack navigation library so for that one we need to copy this one install this one so we have completed all the setup for android for iOS, what you have to do, go to iOS folder and just install port install. So we have completed all the setup for Android. We need to rebuild the application npm run Android. Okay. For iOS, what you have to do, go to iOS folder, then type port install. Clear? For iOS, I am not demonstrating right now. Just I am concentrating on android project we can rebuild the application we have because we have done changes in native code so we need to build the application once more here the application is building once more we can wait for a moment you can see application is completely installed so we have completed the setup for react native stack navigation we have installed the library for react navigation and then we have installed the library for stack navigation now what i am going to do i am going to create three screens here so we can just create one folder src so the folder name is src so inside this src folder i am going to create three screen one is sign up login forgot password so I'm just going to create new file sign up dot js sorry the spelling should be sign up you can just add sign up yes then we can create login 
dot js or we can just rename into screen so we can just login screen then we can just add sign up screen fine then we can add forgot password dot js then one more sc screen we can add is intro screen so we can just add intro screen dot js so we have created three screens intro screens forgot password screen login screen sign up screen so in this example we will be completely covering an authentication system using stack navigation now each uh, each screen i am going to design one simple uh, background color so we can just start with uh, intro screen import react from react you can also use code snippets for this one so just i'm typing here intro uh, intro screen i'm just creating a functional component here not going for class component so export default intro screen okay then we can just have a background color here view uh, we can just type view style flex equal to one and we can give a background color red close this view here and then add a text in row screen also we can just import view and text from react native import view text and also we can just import style sheet from react native yes now we can just create a style sheet here const style style sheet dot create we can just add container here and then paste this here and then we need to align the text at the center so we can just add align item sender also we can just justify content sender okay now we can just refer that object here style dot container and the text color we can just change into white clear so now we can copy this old code snippet into other screen as well we can just add login screen here login screen we can just change the background color to green copy this old code into forgot password as well forgot password fine you can just add forgot password here forgot password here yeah we have exported login screen itself then we can just change into yellow here also copy the same code into login screen we have done intro screen we have done forgot password we have done sign up screen we can add sign up screen sign up screen fine here you can views blacks now we can just test these screens by importing into app.js file we can just import login screen from login screen we can just remove this background color and just place that component here so we can just test login screen is working fine yes now refresh the screen yes any errors no so we can just refresh once more or we can just build the application once more i am not seeing any errors yes there is an x const is there there is no errors at all we can just build the application once more
so as it is building second time it will not take that much time is for the first time yes application is opening oh so what we are missing here cons tap is fine login screen is fine if you go to the login screen yes container flex equal to one background color is fine everything is fine views here return is there yeah it should work into app.js file so import yes it's give me the suggestion so import login screen we can remove this text here and just replace with the login screen so that we can just uh, we can just test login screen is working fine now if I refresh the my screen uh, nothing is not visible let's have a look on login screen itself what is the issue yes issue is on the background color spelling I didn't add n so we can just refresh it so I need to add this background color here on the forgot password and the sign up screen. So background color spelling was mistake. So now if I refresh, I can see login screen is working perfectly fine. Yes, same way we can uh, test all other screen as well. We can import sign up screen. Yes, sign up screen is imported. Now if I just refresh. it should show uh, sign up screen yes sign up screen is showing now we can just import forgot password yes forgot password also we can test the same yes forgot password is visible or uh, we can just change the forgot password test color into something else because the background color is yellow so white will not be visible in forgot password yes forgot password now we can just import intro screen as well so the first screen import intro screen yes intro screens fine intro screen is also working fine so we have completely designed four screen which will be using our auth, stack, auth navigation stack so now we can just integration we can check out the documentation for auth, uh, auth stack so just open the react navigation documentation here here is the way to create stack navigation what you have to do copy this one into our project so import container here mm, we can just place navigation container the first section yes uh, before importing navigation container let's have it more change on here so we can just add a new folder here screen screens and copy all the screen into screens folder move yes we have moved and inside navigation we can have one more folder inside src folder we can have one more folder navigation so like this we are code will be more uh, more structured so here we can just create one more screen auth navigation dot js so this auth navigation dot file deals with all the authentication all the st stack navigation inside the authentication section so we can just add a uh, auth navigation here inside app dot js file we can remove all the imports from here and we can have the same text so that application will not crash because our folder is changed yes now if i refresh it should see this text itself now inside this auth navigation i am going to create the stack for authentication right so for that one what i have to do i have to import all the screens first so before that import react from react native 
then we can have a view here import view from react native so we have imported react native and react now we can import each screen right import login screen from screens yes now we can import forgot password forgot password is imported so vs code is giving me the suggestion to that path so import then sign up screen yes sign up screen is imported now what we can do import uh, the rest is intro screen right so we can just intro screen now inside auth navigation we can just create a functional component auth navigator here auth navigator we have created then we can just export this one export default auth navigator here we have imported then inside this we can just firstly replace with the intro screen so this will be the first screen in the auth navigation we can just check auth navigator is working fine and what you have to do go to the app.js file we can just import auth navigator from uh, src then navigation auth navigation and I'm just replacing it with the auth navigator so we can just refresh the screen once more so it should show uh, auth navigator where we have placed our intro screen there is an error is coming we can just go here here our return is there auth navigator is there your export intro screen is there your intro screen is working fine so we can just have a view here view style flex equal to one yes so i'm just checking why auth navigator is not working we can just have the view on the top of our intro screen yes undefined is not a function intro screen so what is the issue here export default intro screen is there inside auth navigation we have writing intro screens const auth navigator Mm. yeah it should work i don't know why it's not working so we have imported our auth navigator in app.js file but we are facing an issue undefined react native default create element so what is the issue yes the issue is coming from I have imported from react native should import from react we can just remove that native now if I refresh yes inside auth navigator I can see my intro screen now if I place login screen I can see login screen fine forgot password also we can see like that so inside this auth navigator we are going to create our uh, or navigation stack so for that one what you have to do go to the documentation here you can see create navigator stack navigator so copy that one place it here right so it, there should be one stack creation method so we can copy this stack creation method also just paste it so we have created our stack navigator using the method create create native stack navigator from react navigation slash native stack so we have created create native stack navigator now we can we can add this whole screen into our stack so for that one what you have to do copy this stack navigator dot js stack navigator yes we have to close this stack navigator here now inside this stack navigator we can add multiple screens so i am going to add this for screen into the stack navigator yes 
so how to add that screen we can check again check out the documentation we can just call the method stack dot screen and it should be there should be a name for that screen and there should be a component so we can just copy this one paste it here as we have four screen i am going to replicate it with a four time one two three four so we have four screens the first screen is login screen we can just copy this login screen here and i am going to give a name login so always when you are creating a stack navigator you should specify the screen name so there should be two mandatory field one is name and another is the component which we it, uh, the screen represent so we have added login for the login screen in and we are going to add sign up screen so we can give a name sign up and then forgot password we can also give a name for good and we can copy this tag into top because intro screen come first so we can just add intro screen and i can give a name intro so we have created our stack navigator very properly now we need to use in this project so before using stack navigator what i have to do i have to create a navigation container so for that one what you have to do copy this one import navigation container from react navigation slash native so there should be only one navigation container for one project there should be no there should not be multiple navigation container so it should be on the root of root file so i'm just copying this one paste it here and i am going to add my uh, stack navigation inside this navigation container so we can just add this navigation container here navigation container right so we have created our navigation uh, nav auth navigation inside navigation slash auth navigation we have created one auth navigator here now we can just refresh our screen yes we can see an intro screen with the header so we have properly created our stack navigator one property called initial route name so initial route name is the route name which we want to display first in the stack navigation so the uh, property name is initial route name so currently by default the initial route name is intro right so we can just add this inside our stack navigator we can just specify our initial route name in row so by default it will be taking the first screen so here we have defined we didn't define initial route name still it is rendering in row screen because it will take initial where initial stack as default now if i just change this initial route name into login and refresh the screen you can see login screen is uh, login screen is coming first now if i replace with a sign up you can see sign up screen will come first see sign up screen is coming first now we can take decision here initial which initial route name should be here so by default the first screen will be the initial route uh, initial route if you specify the name here intro it will take the initial route name as the first uh, whatever the name you are given whatever the screen name you are given clear so we can see now intro screen is our initial route name okay now we have added our initial route name right but in the initial route name in the intro screen we don't want to have show this header right so by default react navigation give an a header we don't want this header in our initial screen so we can hide the header in two way one we can have options in the screen name itself if you want to hide a particular screen if you do not want to hide if you want to hide a, in a particular screen uh, you can just add header shown false so this will hide header for one screen okay now if you want to hide the entire stack you do not want to hide you do not want to show header in this entire stack what you have to do just give screen options there will be one more property for uh, stack navigator you can just add screen uh, options 
you can just check out the spelling from here you can see screen options okay screen option so this will be this property will be common for all the screens whatever you have added in this tag right now if i just remove this one if i refresh the screen yes header will be header will not be visible now if you check out the login also you can see I'm just refreshing my screen. You can see in the login also header will not be visible. Clear? So we have created a common property screen option header shown false. Now as previous one, if I just give a options only for this screen, header shown false and just commented this out. But for the login screen, you can again see the header because we have added the property for intro screen only, right? If I just add this property to login screen, same thing will happen. Header will be, header will not be visible. So if you want to hide at the entire stack, what you have to do, you have to add the screen option header shown false. So it will be visible. It will not be visible for the entire stack. Clear? So we have deal with our header. So now we have added our initial route name and header shown false to intro screen. Now the next thing what we need to do, we need to navigate between screen, right? So what I am going to do, go to the intro screen. Yes, here I am going to add one button button we can just import from react native yes it's imported title we can just give go to uh, login screen fine so button is closed now we can just check out here is the button okay we can just add a margin button to the text yes so we have a padding between the text and button. Now if I click go to login, it should go to login, right? So for that on what you can do, we need to add props here, right? So in every screen, if you add it in stack navigator in the props, there will be navigation available, right? So if you just console this props dot navigation the navigation all the navigation property will be available inside props dot navigation so i'm just going to console this one you can just open the flipper yes my flipper is opening close this one go to the locks just refresh the uh, emulator once more. You can see all the logs are coming. Yes, now you can see the logs is coming, right? Here you can see different methods available in the Props dot navigation. So by default, if you attach the screen into stack navigation inside props, then inside this prop, there will be one uh, property called navigation. So you can use that property to navigate between screen. So I am just extracting this navigation property using our distraction function. So I only need to use navigation here. So if I refresh once more in the flipper, you can see all the navigation methods available. See, add listener is available, navigate is available, pop is available, push is available, everything is available, right? Cannot find variable props. Are we using props anywhere? No. So it was just before the, we are removing the pop props. Yes, again, we can just console this one. Yes, we can see all the functions are available here. Now what we need to do? Yes. On the on press login button, 
on the on press login button what we need to we need to move into navigation login screen right so we can just call the method navigation dot navigate if you want to check out the documentation here you can see moving between screens here you can see different navigation method on press navigation dot navigation so this is the same we are doing distracting the navigation property from here and printing that property we can just remove this console for now now on navigation dot navigate we need to give one name so here navigation dot navigate i need to go into i need to go to the login screen so we can check check out the name login i need to add this name inside the navigate function okay so we have added navigation dot navigate login screen and we can just refresh the screen once more now if i click go to login it should go to the go to login button right so we can just wait for a moment let the app complete to compile so again we can just open the application yes login screen is coming now if i click login button it should it should need to navigate into login screen we can just try yes it is moving towards to login screen so we have completed our first navigation right in screen right so now if i uh, from the login screen i need to navigate into sign up and forgot password screen so we can just create two buttons here Mm, import button from react native i can just give title forgot password if i click the button for forgot password it should navigate into forgot screen we can just close this button here and also we can just create another button sign up screen right and also we can just give a style if it is available margin vertical so we can just give a margin vertical now if i refresh the screen our intro screen is coming if i click it should go to login screen you can see forgot button and sign up button but uh, the styling is not uh, added so we can just check out the documentation for react native button go to react native button there should be a property to add style yes you can just check out the documentation title color next focused we can just check out style property is not available for button yes color is available title is available but styling is not available we can also check out the documentation for button here you can see the properties which accept button properties accessibility label on press yes styling is not available in the button so we can just give a uh, view here with the height so we can just separate this one view style height we can just give 14 and close this one also we can just remove the button styling now if i refresh the screen there should be a margin yes forgot password sign up screen is margin is there we can just add a margin bottom to the text margin 13 fine now if i just click on the back button it will be go to again go to the intro screen if I click log go to login it should go to the login screen now if I click forgot password it should go to the forgot password and sign up support right so we can extract navigation from props here you can see navigation on the on press we need to navigate into forgot right so we can just add navigation dot we can call the method navigate and we should specify the screen name which we will be getting from the uh, odd stack we can just go to the odd stack here the forgot password button uh, forward screen is 
uh, for God and also we can same repeat for the sign up screen we can just add it here and the name should be from the stack you can just copy this name paste it here now if I refresh the screen let's see what happened so the first intro screen will come now if I just click on go to login it will go to the login screen now if I just click on the forgot see it is going to the forgot screen now if I just click on the sign up button you can see sign up screen is opening so we have completed we are connected all the four screen using navigation clear sign up screen right so we have completed our login all we are connected all the screen using navigation we can have one more demo if I click on go to login it will go to the login screen now if I click forgot password it will navigate into forgot screen also if I just click sign up button it will navigate into sign up button right clear now inside sign up button I am going to uh, add one more button if I click that button it should navigate into login screen so we can go to uh, sign up screen import button from react native just add button here and we can just have a title go to login so if I click this button go to login it should navigate into login screen we can just refresh the screen I can see the button here we can just have a margin bottom to the text so that button and text will be separated clear yes now if I just click on this button it should navigate into uh, login screen so as we have already used navigation property we know how to use we can import the navigation property using navigation and navigation dot navigate into login so this we can do like this navigation on on press we can just have navigation dot navigate login so obviously it will navigate it to login screen we can just check out see on the click it will navigate in login but in sign up screen I am not using a navigation property I am going to use hook so we have one hook is available in react navigation use navigation we can just import that hook because our sign up screen is a functional component we can use advantage of hooks so we can just paste it here and what we can we have to do declare a const navigation using that use navigation hook and I, I can remove this navigation now the same thing will work as before if I just refresh the screen yes login screen is coming go to sign up now if I click go to login button it should na should navigate into login screen right so we are using navigation hook here use navigation hook as we have already added that use navigation property it should navigate into login screen we can just click on the button go to login yes same thing is working so you can use use navigation hook if your component is functional clear